Hello, boys and girls. Today is week eight, day five. Um, but if you're following along on this three weeks instruction, you will see that we are on week two, day five of our yellow learning packet. Okay, so today for math, we have addition uh, and we have counting backwards. Okay, so you are actually going to need uh, two die for today's addition page, okay? So it says addition, roll and add. Roll three dice, uh, write the numbers in the boxes, add and write an equation, okay? So boys and girls, I need to grab one more dice. Uh, bear with me here. I did not read my directions close enough, so don't make that mistake like Mr. DeWitt, okay? Uh, so here's my third dice, um, and now what I will do is I can shake them up, or maybe I just want to do one at a time. All I need to do is I roll it. That's a six, okay? So I would write six. Okay. Now I would write five, or uh, not five, sorry, I'd roll my second dice. I have three, so six plus three. And then I would have my last dice, one. Okay, so six plus three plus one. Now I have to figure out what is six plus three plus one. Now, boys and girls, it is okay if you don't have three dice. You can always use just one, um, but just make sure that you write down your number uh, before picking up your dice. So I have six plus three plus one. Now we can figure this out a couple different ways. Uh, so remember, we can pound on six, our biggest number. We can add three, so six, seven, eight, nine. I added three. Now I could add one more, 10, okay? So six plus three is nine, plus one more is 10. Now another way we could do this, boys and girls, is if you have your number grid handy, you can go six, okay? So I rolled six first. Now I jump three. One, two, three. I'm at nine. I need to do one more. One, okay? So then I land on ten. Now I do not have my number line with me today, uh, but remember you can do a number line as well. Okay, so you would start on six, you would hop up three, and then hop up one more, and you will land on ten. Okay, so go ahead, use whatever resource you need. Uh, maybe some of you, actually, not every resource, uh, no calculators, okay? I want you to use your brain power. Um, I want you to use your manipulatives like a number grid or a number line. Uh, so I'm going to do one more just to show you how you can do it with one dice, uh, if I have it, I would roll. I got a three, so I'm going to write three plus, okay, so what's my next number? Two, three plus two. Now, I'm gonna do one more number. Oh, a two again, okay. So, sometimes, maybe, now that we have this written down, maybe it's easier for us to say, well, I know two plus two is four, okay. So I know two plus two is four. Now I need to add three, so maybe I'll Pound on four and add three more. So four, five, six, seven. Okay, so my answer is seven. Now it's okay. Maybe you want to do it the old fashioned way, starting just going in order. You could say three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so notice how I did three, four, five for my first two. Now I need to add two more, six, seven. Okay, so I still end up there. Again, just to show you one more time with your number grid, you can go three. Now you jump two, one, two. I need to jump two more, six, seven. Okay, so that is how we can do it. Uh, boys and girls, look at a die. Remember, there are only six sides on a dice, so we won't be rolling any nines. Sevens, eights, nothing like that. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So only six sides on a dice, okay? Uh, another name for a dice is a cube. A cube is the shape that a dice is in. It's a three-dimensional figure. 
Okay, so going on to our next page for math today, uh, it is counting backwards, okay? So I know that initially you might think counting backwards, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but boys and girls, a lot of first graders like to make the mistake. They see one number and they naturally just want to count up. They want to add. They don't think about counting backwards, okay? So I want you to try to turn that brain around, turn it backwards, flip your, uh, flip your thinking around, and we are going to think backwards backwards today okay so we have all our numbers down here so you're going to need to cut these out uh, it would be kind of cool maybe you want to make a game out of it you cut it out uh, you end up putting them face down you draw one and maybe you want to challenge yourself and say okay uh, maybe I drew an let's see maybe I drew an 11 so I picked up an 11 that was facing down you could think well where would, where would my 11 go well, since I'm counting down, 11's higher than 9, so I know that I can't get to 11 from counting down from 9. I could get there by 21, but do I have enough boxes? This would be 20, 19, 18, 17, and same thing for 62. Do I have enough boxes? I don't, so we can be problem solvers. We know it must be in this row with 15. Well, it doesn't come after 14 right away, so you have to keep counting. That's 13, 12, and then 11. I would put my 11 here, and I would paste my 11 there, okay? Um, that is one way you could do it, and you could make a fun math game out of it. Um, some of you may just want to say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to first write in my numbers, and then I'm just going to copy, paste it in there. Um, that's okay, too. So you could start at 15. You know, you count down one is 14. Counting down one more is 13, 12, 11. Okay, so now this way you've labeled it, and you see exactly what card you should put in each box. That is another way you could do it, boys and girls. Um, you can get creative. You can do it. Um, however you feel uh, but let's just make sure we are putting our cards in the right places or we're putting our number cards here in the right places okay uh, so that does it for today's math and that actually completes math for our yellow learning packet so next week uh, we will be starting our green learning packet okay can't wait we'll see you later first graders